Hello, hello. Hey, everybody. Okay, just finished doing my grocery haul for the week. Um, the only thing I didn't get was avocados. I didn't get any avocados. So, but this week they had organic lemons here at this Walmart that I stopped at. And this is what I really like stopping at because I usually find the jumbo brown eggs um, that are only 63 cents a dozen, but they didn't have them um, this week. Darn it. I'm, I'll be back and then I'm going to go over my grocery haul with you. I always have to mess with this camera after I get it set up. So I'm just kind of laying out everything right now. I mean, I mean, I got some things that I don't normally get, but I need something other than green leaves in my salad. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's true. I can only eat so many green leaves a day. This is beautiful. They have freshly cut. Look how green that celery is. That's organic celery. Farm fresh. It's not white. It's um, They're smaller. More concentrated. Man, that's just... Look at the leaves on it. Beautiful. You're not going to find celery like this. This green. In any, you know that's not organic it's all white and watered down and years of uh, being genetically modified to uh, be large and produce fast and more but this is beautiful this is organic so I, I love it that they're bringing food back and then let me show you some fresh cut organic romaine lettuce okay bet you guys didn't even know romaine lettuce was supposed to look like that did ya because when you buy it look at that look at those beautiful leaves just beautiful look at the veins in there look at all that fiber this when you buy romaine lettuce that's not organic even like just the hearts all you're getting is water you're paying for water watered down produce that's mass produced that has little to no nutritional value look at that beautiful green leaf right there i mean just on the inside it almost looks like cabbage right that's why it's so nutritional for you so anytime you can buy organic i 100 percent suggest it um Organic broccoli. Organic broccoli. Look how green that is. Look at that. The stalks aren't that big. They're not huge. You see? That means it, it's getting more of the nutrition to where it needs to be all in all that fiber that we eat. Right? The cruciferous vegetables. These are beautiful. Beautiful. This is what we need to be eating. Especially if you can grow your own, I always 100% suggest grow your own. If you can. If you're like me, have and I can't grow my own because I'm not home to grow. But if you got somebody at home that can do a vegetable garden for you and take care of it for you, and then when you come home on home time, you could stock up on beautiful um, vegetables like this. Finally, some organic lemons. Organic lemons. One of these days, I'm going to show you the difference between an organic lemon and a non-organic lemon. And one of the number one things is they're smaller. They're more concentrated. They have absolutely a, um, a ton more flavor. They're way more flavorful. And then another thing is if you buy a non-organic lemon, you've got a quarter of an inch of rind. Right? 
there's hardly any meat inside because they make them to grow big to make you think you're getting more for your money and you're not you're actually getting less this here you cut this open this has hardly any rind the rind on it is so thin because it's all full of meat and juice think about it people think about it the industry has been screwing us for years and we allow them and now not only are they screwing us they're killing us because there's no nutrition in the food so we're eating shite right don't even get me started because that's not what this video is about so, yeah kind of ticks me off a little bit okay so we got the lemons here two pounds of grass-fed beef that's right grass-fed if you look at yeah I don't know if you can see it in this camera I'm gonna show you you see how it looks you know it's got like a yellow tinge to it that's the fat grass-fed beefs fat has a yellowish tinge to it not white fat should not be white if it's white it's because it has it doesn't have any nutrition uh, absolutely you're getting protein but you're not getting all of the amino acids and all of the like all of the good good nutrition that we're meant to have from animal fat so anyway grass-fed beef and then I love this I bought this the last time and I have just torn it up. This is a lamb breast. Not ribs, but there are bones in here. See, they got little bones because they're the breast bones. But look at this. Look how much fat you get with each slice. I usually cut these up into like two bones per piece. And that's probably about the size of a deck of cards, which is like four ounces. It may be even be a little too much. But honestly, I could literally take this to a butcher right now and ask them to cut this in slices like this for me. The bones are so thin, I could cut these bones right out and slice this down and have lamb bacon. What? <laughs> Can you imagine lamb bacon instead of pork? Gosh. I just might do that. If I could hold off on opening this, I just might do that. I might take it to my local butcher when I get back in town. And at least this part right here. And just have them slice that bacon for me. Slice it into bacon slices. That would be the shiznick right there. So, this here. Okay, these, I'm going to go over this with you. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, what I did was I went ahead and calculated only the groceries over here that I would normally get. It all came to 55, was it 55, 67? I'm not sure. I'll throw a picture up there because I took a screenshot. So here are the totals what? of all the vegetables and the meat that I got. It came up to 55, 16. But that's including the meat, all right? And you don't have to get lamb breast. You could get you a, a thing of chicken thighs and a thing of chicken wings, you know, the small packets. They're like three or four bucks each. So... Hang tight. I'm going to go over. I spent a total of $126, but not all of that was on groceries. I'm going to show you a few things I splurged on. Now, I don't normally buy um, cucumber, zucchini, not, not every week. This is just a treat, really, because I only eat, um, gosh, I'm sorry. Sorry about this, people. Okay. I usually only eat just the leafy greens in a salad, you know, and I got a bell pepper. I don't normally buy a bell pepper either. I do buy the, um, the grape tomatoes. 
that's yeah I usually do get those every week I don't normally get the pack of green beans either but I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit this week so I already showed you the romaine lettuce and the broccoli I got two heads of cauliflower organic cauliflower here um, 18 count of eggs because I use a lot of eggs when I make my um, my flatbreads so two pounds of uh, grass-fed ground beef and two cans of coconut flour I mean coconut milk now I did buy a case of seaweed not a case but it's six come in this thing right here yes they're almost two dollars each um, I usually only buy one or two but I've been craving these seaweed snacks and it's a wonderful snack great for crunching if you um, if uh, you miss eating potato chips don't uh, no, and it doesn't taste like grass either now these are my favorite seasonings but I have not bought them in a long time and they're only a dollar each so you can season all your meats and vegetables and everything with this yes 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 when you go to make your bone broth soup throw in a pack of this this happened to be on sale for two dollars it was the last one on the clearance cart so I snagged up yeah it's an Italian herb blend I want to try it why not I like um spicing up my food now here's the fun part here's where I like really splurged on my grocery bill this week I don't know if you know what these are I'm so excited these are freezer canning these are canning cups for the freezer they're plastic these are the baby eight ounce ones <laughs> but you know what I'm gonna make I found a recipe and I can't wait to share it with you. I found a recipe for vegan, vegan, gluten-free, fat, um, not fat-free, gluten-free, um, sugar-free, like there's no sugar in it unless you want to add some. Um, gosh, what else? I don't know, just what everything. It's uh, dairy-free um, ice cream. <laughs> and you don't need an ice cream machine. I'm going to use this. I'm so excited. I have been dying for some ice cream since I used to eat the Arctic Zero, but it has so much hidden sugar in it that I don't eat that anymore. But this, I can make my own ice cream since I have my deep freezer on the truck and don't need a machine to do it. Yes, I'm so excited. I will share that with you on how it comes out. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. So I splurged on those. That was like $3 for two of those cups. And then I got, now here's what I'm trying to do inside. I did buy a refrigerator, but I haven't been home yet to get it. But I wanted to, I got me a couple things to keep my veggies more fresh. So this says that it keeps it up 80% longer. So fingers crossed let's see what happens I figure I could pre-make my salad and put it in here and then that way you know each night or afternoon when I go to have my lunch I just grab me a handful and put it on my lunch or dinner plate so I'm kind of stoked about this I'm excited about this um, and then I also got these for my refrigerator trying to organize my grocery my vegetables and stuff in there a little bit and this is what it comes with it comes with the large um, container two medium and two small and it was only 20 bucks so I'm gonna try it and if I like it I'll go get a couple extra maybe the long ones but my idea with this one is to put like the leftover um, cucumber, zucchini, bell pepper, um, celery stalks, you know, when, once I cut them up and wash them, and I'll go ahead and put them in snack size pieces, and I could just layer them in here, and all the other containers, um, the bell pepper, keep it separated, so I could just pop them out and add them to my lettuce, uh, my salad mix, that's what I, that's my plan for that. 
So, and then, last but not least, well, I'm not going to show you, but I, 15 flipping dollars for six big girl underwear. So, I'm really glad <laughs> I'm losing weight. <laughs> Because so, skinny girl draws is so much cheaper. <laughs> well, until unless you go to Victoria's Secret. But I'm just talking Walmart here. So, but, hey, don't tell. But I got three of these. And, but these are not for me. Don't get it twisted. Anytime I find stuff on clearance, or not anytime, but lately, I find stuff on clearance like this, I always try to get three. And you know why? One for each, not of my grandchildren, but for each family. So, yeah. That's right. So that mommies can, my two daughter-in-laws and uh, my daughter can hopefully, you know, bake a tie-dye cake for the kids or something. I don't know. Just as a treat. From grandma. <laughs> They're going to kill me. <laughs> You know how his grandmas do. And, uh, yeah. That was pretty much about it. That's, that's like on my haul. So, you know, I did get a couple of expensive things for my haul this week. But, all in all, I did aight. But you have to figure, let me see, $15 for the draws. Uh, $20 for the container. And then another $8.00. So that's 50, that's 60 bucks just on those three items alone. So, yeah. And that's the bottom line. That was the bottom line. Can you see it? Is it in focus? I'm not sure if it is or isn't. But anyway, whatever. Y'all get the idea. Here, let's just, I'll do like the movie, movies. Roll in the credits. Roll in the credits. Roll in the credits. <laughs> Roll in the credits. Boom. That's it. So yeah, thanks for joining me this week on <laughs> Healthier Truck and Grocery Haul. Oh, I got this upside down. Y'all gonna drive me. Y'all, I, I know I'm driving y'all crazy. Y'all gonna kill me with this damn video. Okay. <laughs> Love, peace, chicken grease. Bye. Just an update on these containers that I got yesterday. I'm actually really loving them. Last night I made some homemade pico de gallo. And I'm looking forward to eating that. The only thing missing are onions. I didn't get onion yesterday. But the containers, I think I'm really going to enjoy these once I get my larger, once I get my refrigerator. So, just to give you an idea, this freezer right here is 1.1 cubic feet, and it's pretty packed, right? And the refrigerator that I got is 2.3 or 6 cubic feet, 2.4 maybe, I can't remember, but it's a two cubic foot fridge so it's like double the size so yeah I'm hoping that I will have plenty of space for all of my vegetables in the refrigerator and then some yes this cooler has done me justice for two years but it is time to upgrade yes it is Thanks for watching. Bye. This little gem is, oh my goodness. I am so glad I got this. This is like having a crisper drawer in your cooler. Look at that. Like, the lettuce is still, listen to this, ready? Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm not letting that go to waste. Mmm. So crispy and tender. Yeah.
man. I might have to get me another one of these. This is a gem right here. Oh my goodness. This is a true gem. This is why this is why I'm getting a large why I got a larger refrigerator. I just haven't been home to get it to put it in my truck because I'm tired of having to take everything out <laughs> whenever I want something. So yeah, so that's why I got it. Just so I could have more space to put more healthy, delicious, real food. Yep, that's exactly why. It's a balancing act. Where else? Oh, oh, I was going to say, where did the eggs go? And to make room, whenever I use my eggs, every time I use three eggs, I break off a section until it gets down to nothing. And that saves room in the cooler. Day. It's a balancing act, folks. <laughs> ah. Stay. That's that dig on cauliflower. Has to learn that I'm the boss. 